So lately I've been excited to be a fan of the Raimi films again with them re-releasing in theaters. I feel powerful now having seen every Spider-Man film in theaters as I didn't get to see the first one in theaters originally and even though I've seen these movies hundreds of times it just hits different watching them in theaters. I've been looking into a lot of Raimi stuff lately ranging from merchandise and videos and one video in particular that has stood out is the discovery of sewer environments in the Spider-Man 2 game. If you don't know the lizard was originally going to be in Spider-Man 2, in fact if you watch the E3 2003 trailer, the only villain shown is the lizard at the end, and although he would eventually be cut, there's still some hints towards him in the game. If you go in some of the comic shops, you can see artwork for the lizard when we see Dr. Connor's lab, he looks like he's working on lizard stuff, and there's even a hint marker in the city, which Bruce Campbell says the lizard isn't in the game, but kind of suggests if you can get into the sewers you can find him. But the biggest leftover that the lizard was going to be in the game comes from the boss fight arena after you complete the story, which you can fight lizard's minions as well as Calypso so a boss that has no relevancies to the story, and it's safe to assume that she and Craven were scrapped along with the lizard and a plot was saved for the Spider-Man 3 game. There's also audio files for the lizard and Craven that can be found online, but what's recently been discovered are parts of the sewer environments meant for Spider-Man 2. I'm not sure if this is who originally discovered it, but in a video posted by Lila Fur a month ago, we can see Spider-Man ascending into two sewer environments, with one looking similar to Spider-Man 3's level. So this can be accessed through emulator with cheats, and I did link her videos down below showcasing the environments and how to enter as well as the social media profiles but it's so cool that 20 years later something like this was discovered and it's our only look at what another mission would have been like in the game it's also neat that the access to this sewer is near the university which makes me think we were supposed to swing by school to check on connor's but it turns into chasing the lizard into the sewer however there are two environments and i have heard there was supposed to be random lizard crimes that would happen near multiple manhole covers across the city Spider-Man 2 is revolutionary for its time, and to this day, it's the only free roam in Spider-Man game that lets us go to the Statue of Liberty, and it would have been crazy to freely roam the city for the first time ever, enter buildings, and go underground when in today's Spider-Man 2, I can't enter a single building in free roam. And I do have mixed feelings about the lizard being cut from the game. On one hand, I think having Doc Ock and Connors turn into monsters at the same time would be a bit odd, but also we would have had an even bigger city to explore, and Kraven would have returned, meaning there would never be the Kraven boss fight that I couldn't beat for years in Spider-Man 3. So let me know what you all think about the lizard in Spider-Man 2 and this discovery. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, hit that like button, and I will see you guys again in my next video.